Good morning, friends. It is your friend Sensitive Type here. Got a fun day planned. We're going out to Bridgeton, Missouri. Going to the Toy Man Toy Show. Um, this one's gonna be pretty comparable to Toy Hio. It's pretty big. Um, I think there's like 200 vendors. Um, it's gonna be a hell of a toy show. Right now, it's 8 a.m. I got up early today. I have to wake somebody up who's a little grumpy, um, but I'll get them going because I bribed them with energy drinks, so that's okay. Um, so I'll check back in with you guys when we're closer to the toy show. I probably won't buy a lot of stuff today. I'm gonna try to just keep the vlog short and sweet, try to showcase what everybody's selling um, and film a little bit more than I did at Ohio. Uh, just because I did not film that much. I didn't really have a lot of time. So today I'm going to be focused on the filming, less so on the buying of things, but you know how it goes. I'm probably going to end up with way too much stuff anyway. So we will see you out there uh, in just a little bit. Montage. Hey guys, it's Sensitive Type. We are done with the Toy Man convention over in St. Charles, Missouri. As you can see, I got tons of stuff. I can't wait to show you when we get back to the house. I'll walk you through everything. Uh, but right now we gotta go get some food. So I will see you guys in just a few. 24 hours later. Alrighty guys, I am back from the Toy Man event. Uh, I'm really stoked to go through some of the stuff that I got. Um, full disclosure, this is the next day after the event. Uh, I was just really tired. We woke up really early to go to the event. I just didn't feel like making the rest of the video yesterday. I felt like relaxing with my partner and just kind of hanging out. Uh, can you really blame me after going to a big long toy show all day? Um, but it was a really great event. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple of my uh, uh, random Pokemon cards real quick. Just It might seem random, but this is how I'm going to work in doing some of my Pokemon card collection in this video as well. I think every video I'm just gonna, while I'm kind of explaining what the video is, I'm just gonna kind of go through some of my favorite Pokemon cards with you guys as well. Uh, but yeah, the event was fantastic. It's about 200 or so vendors there. Um, couldn't ask for a better variety. I mean, there's absolutely everything that you could have imagined at this toy show, to be honest. Um, Seriously, one of the most fun toy shows I've been to. Uh, it was right up there with the one we just went to in Ohio. So I'm feeling pretty spoiled with some of the pickups that I got recently. Um, there was a lot more art vendors at this one. Uh, so I did pick up some art, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I will get to that, show you guys that. Uh, I've picked up, yeah, like I said, I picked up a few art prints. I picked up some... Uh, vintage Power Rangers stuff for the collection because you guys know I love Power Rangers. Um, I also have some pickups from a couple days ago that I'm going to get to right after I get done showing you guys these the rest of these cards. Uh, so it should be a pretty jam-packed video. Uh, forgive me if I'm going a little bit too fast here. Uh, my last video was crazy long 
for the Toy Hio event. So I'm really just gonna try to make this one super quick, super tidy, um, and just kind of keep it to a nice length for this video. Um, but we do have a lot of stuff to get through. Um, so let's just get right into it. About a week ago, I uh, went ahead and picked this up. I was walking through Walmart. As you know, I'm a huge Power Rangers Lightning Collection fan. That's what these boxes are over here. Um, all these boxes are Power Rangers Lightning Collection. A lot of what I talk about is Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Uh, if you've ever seen the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, you have no doubt seen these guys. You probably remember these guys. These are the Tanga Warriors. These are really hard to get your hands on. They just dropped, and uh, unless they kind of reprint them and make more of them, uh, I can see this figure going way up in price. Uh, it's already kind of doubled itself in price recently, so that is that. I was really excited just to be walking through Walmart one day and find it. Uh, so never doubt your toy aisle at Walmart. Uh, this next thing, I don't even know why I ordered this. Uh, people are probably going to make fun of me for it, but that's totally okay. Um, the Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger Pony. Now I know what you're thinking. I am definitely uh, not a super big fan of My Little Pony, but I mean, come on, this is adorable. And sometimes things just fit into your collection and you need to get them. Uh, I also realize that no one probably believes me when I say that I'm not really that into My Little Pony. Uh, but those are two things that I picked up right before the con and uh, I just wanted to show them off, both Power Rangers related. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, now getting into the stuff that we got at the convention, uh, I will go ahead and show these off. The first is an art print that I got. Um, here it is. Very kind of sad, um, melancholy print, but I love local art. I have a big art wall in my toy room of local artists. Um, the people who did this are uh, on Instagram. They go by My Little Creepy. Um, and just the nicest people. I ended up talking to them for like 15 minutes. Um, you know, just total queer, positive art that is totally awesome. So I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Thank you, My Little Creepy. Please check them out on Instagram. So excited to get that one hung up on the wall. This next thing I'm gonna show you guys is a lot of fun. I cannot wait to get this up on my wall. Um, it is another art print. Uh, from the original 1995 uh, movie poster from Toy Story. I'm going to have to adjust my camera a little bit, so forgive me. Um, it says, the toys are back in town. Um, nice framed picture I picked up for like, I think $5. So, I mean, that's just going to look great in the toy room. I'm super excited about that. Um, so, yeah, a little behind the scenes look there at the uh, toy room setup. We're going to go back and uh, get this thing set up so we can keep moving on. Like I said, my videos are not the most professional. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep it rolling, keep it moving through the toys. Next thing I got, I was really excited to find another $5 purchase. Um, this is why you always keep an open mind at the toy show. Uh, always have a bunch of stuff that you're looking for because you never know what you're going to come across. Uh, if you know me personally, you know that my favorite movie since I was a kid is Monsters, Inc. Uh, so I was super excited to find this mint on card Monsters, Inc. Mike Wazowski. Well, it was actually from Monsters University, so probably not as rare as uh, Monsters, Inc. But I am really excited about this just because it's cute. Um, it's still in the packaging. Um, this movie is getting kind of old. I think it came out around 2010 or something like that. See if I can find a date on here. Yeah, I can't, so. But I'm just really excited. I love Monsters, Inc., Monsters University. The new show that they have on Disney Plus is great. Um, but it's just one of those things that, it's one of the lesser known kind of Disney properties. Um, I wouldn't say it's lesser known, but it just doesn't give get as much love as some of the other films do. So I always pick up the merch when I can find it. I was really excited to buy this for like $5. Um, so moving on, I got another piece to show you guys before we get into the loose action figures. 
Um, this is the only Funko Pop that I bought, but it is a good one, and I think that you guys are going to like it very much. Uh, this is the Blunt Man and Chronic 2-pack. Chibuchis. What the fuck? Um, I've been dying to have this in my collection for a very long time. Uh, since this 2-pack came out, um, it was really around the time where I was maybe six months into buying Funko Pops and just... I, there was no chance I was going to be able to get this, you know, like I, I was not privy to doing pre-orders and how convention exclusives worked and things like that. Um, but I saw it and I was really interested in it and it's never left me since I saw this. So uh, first Funko booth we went to at the toy show, uh, I'm just like looking around, looking around. I see, see a couple Teen Titans pops that I liked and then I looked up and here was this thing. I did pay right around pop price guide value for it, so I paid right around 50 for it. Um, but you're gonna see this thing go up and you're also gonna see this thing already going up. Um, I saw some sold listings at like 60, $70 for it. So no doubt it's gonna go up in value for me. It's just such a cool uh, Funko Pop, such a funny Funko Pop, especially you know if you're uh, if you love these movies or if you're a Kevin Smith fan or if you're stoner, it's probably gonna be one of your favorite pops. And I am excited because we are meeting Jason Mewes um, this September at Horror Hound Weekend. I don't know if any of you viewers have ever heard of that. Uh, it's in Cincinnati, Ohio. It's basically for this horror magazine. Me and my partner will be going. So here is me announcing that we will be doing a Horror Hound Weekend vlog a couple in a couple of months here. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to meet Robert England from Nightmare on Elm Street. We're going to meet Jason Mewes. Hopefully get this bad boy signed. Uh, and that would be really cool to do on the channel. Okay, so moving on. We are getting into the loose figures, and I think I'm just going to run through these Power Rangers that I got because you know me. I cannot help myself when it comes to vintage Power Ranger stuff. I have to buy up everything that I see. So the first thing that we're going to get into um, is this Lightspeed Rescue Pink Ranger on the Lightspeed Cycle. Um, everybody who collected Power Rangers toys back then knows that they did the light speed cycles. Um, I mean, they did every variation of Power Rangers, you know, sold these toys in every single possible way they could. Um, so I'm really happy to have this season's Pink Ranger on the cycle. I could have gotten all of them, but I held off because you know me, I'm a little conservative when it comes to toys and buying stuff. I try to just piece it together. I don't try to just buy it all at once. Um, I am excited because I do have a lot of uh, Lightspeed Rescue stuff, so it is one of those uh, seasons that I am going to try to collect for. Uh, as you can see, I have the Super Train Megazord back uh, up there, and I have the Solar Max Megazord right there. Um, and let's see here. That is Dana Mitchell, I believe the ranger's name is in the show. I did have to look all these things up. I did watch this season as a kid. I just don't remember that. It'd be kind of crazy if I did. Um, I did get go ahead and get the Green Ranger to go along with Dana Mitchell. And I believe this character's name in that season was Joel. I do remember that because that was uh, my good friend's name. So shout out Joel if you're watching this. Probably not. Um, and we're just going to keep on keeping on with these. Um, the next season that I got um, going in chronological order is Power Rangers Time Force. And I kind of went all out on these. Um, almost got the full team because... This is a harder season to buy for if you're a vintage Power Rangers collector. Um, I know that Hasbro's doing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line right now, so you can kind of relive and go back and buy all these newer Power Rangers toys. But if you're buying vintage stuff, Time Force is a harder season to buy for. Um, so I'm just gonna set some of these figures up. Um, pardon me, I do have some of the price tags on them still. Um, 
you know, I just did not have time to take all of them off. So we will go through them. These are probably gonna fall down. These older figures are not great for setting up, so we're just gonna kind of go for it. Um, oh, and there goes Pink Ranger. So as you can see, I have plenty of plenty of loose Power Rangers I picked up. This isn't even all of them yet, um, but this is all the Time Force Rangers I have. Um, I did look up all the names. Uh, this is the Quantum Ranger, so he's going to be like the sixth Ranger of the season. and He's kind of like the White Ranger or the Gold Ranger in Power Rangers Zeo. He's kind of like the special edition character. Oh, and as you can see, this is just not going well. Um, so we're just going to leave it, leave it at that. Um, like I said, yeah, super excited to have some of these Power Rangers, Time Force Rangers in the collection. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just picked up all of them, but you know, when you're at the toy show and you're already spending a lot of money, it's just one of those things, you know? Um, I am really excited to have this next Ranger in my collection. Uh, if you watch Power Rangers Dino Thunder, a lot of Power Rangers... Fans know that that was probably the most underrated newer season, um, and then we got the Dino Char or Dino Thunder Black Ranger. Such a cool figure. Um, all these figures are made by Bandai. This is when Bandai still had the license. Uh, if you did not know, this figure right here is played by Tommy Oliver, the original Green Ranger. So. Uh, if you if you're kind of getting back in and want to rewatch some Power Rangers, that is a great season to watch um, because it kind of mixes newer stuff with older stuff. It is a lot of fun, um, and we got two more Rangers to go. I know I'm crazy. I bought way too much stuff at this event, um, but I could not help myself. I got one more Green Ranger. I got the Green Ranger from Lost Galaxy. Um, really excited about that. You know I love Green Rangers, and soon I'm just going to try to piece together all these original teams. And then I believe this is the Phantom Ranger from Power Rangers in Space and Power Rangers Turbo. Uh, but I could not exactly find the picture of this online. So if this is the Phantom Ranger, please let me know um, because I am not 100%. If you know what this figure is, it is made by Bandai. Uh, it says 2008 on the foot. Uh, so I'm I'm kind of at a loss for identifying this one. So you can call me out and say I'm not a true fan. That's fine. Um, so yeah, that is all the Power Rangers stuff. I know it is a lot, um, but we will kind of lift up and show you and go through some of this. Um, hopefully this is as nostalgic for me as it is, or as nostalgic for you as it is me, um, because there's nothing better than vintage Power Rangers. If you ask me, that is the key to my heart. Um, I got some more Simpsons figures. Worst movie ever! And send and sip. Part the toy show as well. Some more Burger King stuff. Um, I got Comic Book Guy, which, you know, as a collector, Comic Book Guy is the best, the most relatable character. Uh, he's so particular about his collectibles. I gotta love Comic Book Guy. Uh, and then I got this Homer. Uh, and what's cool about this Homer is he still works. So that's obnoxious, and I'll probably never do it again, but it is nice to know that he is still in working order. He will go up with the rest of those Treehouse of Horror figures that you saw in my last video. Um, moving on, we got, I believe, another Burger King toy. Why did Burger King have the sickest toys of the 90s? Like, honestly, Burger King is the MVP of toys in the 90s. Look how fun this is. Uh, Jar Jar Binks, I- Jar Jar Binks, listen your humble servant. That won't be necessary. Oh, but it is. It is demanded by the gods, it is. Do you have the Darth Maul to go with this one? Um, give me just a second and I will show you guys. Here is the Darth Maul, I believe, from the same line. Um, so these are gonna look really good together. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but if I can piece together this little collection, that would be cool. Uh, moving on, some tiny little things, not really ending off with a bang here, but we got the little binocular guy from Toy Story. Um, that is super cute. Like I said, this sometimes you just buy stuff because it gives you nostalgia and it's cute, whatever the reason may be. Um, 
So I got that, and then I also am gonna end it off with a classic, a little bendy Mickey figure that I got to just kind of accentuate my Mickey Mouse Funko Pop collection. Um, also very nostalgic figure, just a classic thing to have in the toy collection. Um, so that's it guys, that was a lot of toys very quickly. Hopefully your brain is still intact. Um, I feel like I've been talking for way too long. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video um and hearing me nerd out about toys once again i've been having a great time doing these videos for you guys so make sure you spread love positivity and everything like that and we will see you in the next video hey guys i have no idea how i forgot about this but i'm now going back in um post editing to to put this in the video uh i completely forgot that i bought the imagine next megazord um yeah, this thing is crazy big. I have a lightning figure down there for context. Um, just wanted to show it off. Got a sweet deal on it. Kind of been looking at this thing. Uh, it's not the most realistic Megazord by any means, but it is absolutely huge. Um, so I'm super glad to have that in the new collection and everything. Um, such a fun like little accent piece to the toy room. So yeah, Imagine Next Megazord missing some uh, missing some pieces and everything. But, um, I think it, like, lights up and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Look at that. I bet you don't got one of those. Uh, so, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh